Hello everyone, welcome to a new Decred bi-weekly news update for August 2020. We have been seeing lots of development updates, Polite activity, and plenty of community involvement. We'll start today with development updates, which are arguably the most important and interesting because we get to see the Decred ecosystem evolve and improve every single week. With the big 1.6.0 release drawing ever so closer, which will include private staking, private transactions, decentralizing the treasury, and possibly even the finalized Decred decks, among other additions. A video of the new unreleased desktop wallet called GoDCR from Radar Group has been published showing off how the wallet will look and feel. Having more wallet variants will only help strengthen the Decred ecosystem. There are a number of updates to the contractor management system including admin searching contractors by domain or type, displaying proposal names instead of tokens and invoice line items, assigning proposal ownership via a graphical user interface, admin review of proposal spending summary and details, a new tab for proposal owners to review billing details, and highlighting for illegal characters and invoice line items. As shown in this photo, privacy wallets are now being tested on Testnet. Decred's privacy on Decrediton draws ever so closer. The Decred treasury has no more bugs to work out, and in the near future will be going up to vote to be fully implemented. Jay-Z says DCR's treasury will have more original code than many top 10 coins do. The Decred DEX updates include smart fee rate handling, improved wallet locking of coins that fund orders, additional server administration functions like ban, unban, notify, and notify all. On orders with revoked or failed matches, the order is automatically unbooked and the clients are notified. The client now automatically resubscribes to the order book feed after a reconnection with the server. There has been more client browser interface polish and numerous bug fixes and optimizations. Get Stakey says seeing the deck screenshots doesn't know justice. Doing atomic swaps with other people on testnet is just too freaking cool. There have been many updates to Decrypt's Lightning Network, including updates to use the latest DCR wallet and DCRD, a new chain scan package that uses committed filters to detect transactions relevant for the Lightning Network node more efficiently, it can also operate in SPV mode, switch the main DCR LND package to use the new wallet back drivers, enable and test SPV mode for remote wallets, and ported upstream LND changes among other improvements. Once again, I'd highly recommend subscribing to the Decred Journal on Medium to see every single dev update. There is also lots of community activity. Pablito has created a video showing Decred's Git history starting from 2016, visualizing just how much work has gone into this project. Decred has been added to the Bitcoin to You application where it can be bought and sold with the Brazilian real fiat currency. The YouTube channel Light Liger published a video called Top 5 Bullish Signals for Decred. And in this video, we're going to be exploring five bullish signals for Decred, which could mean a lot of great things for the project in the near future. The five signals he lists are as follows. ARK Invest, who has been endorsed by Elon Musk, is carefully looking at Decred. The Coinbase hit of listings picked Decred as one of his top coins. The Decred DEX development. Privacy in the GUI wallet. And the decentralization of the treasury. I really couldn't agree more with these signals, they are all super bullish and should have everyone excited about what is in store for the Decred project in the next few months. Decred Latin America was live talking about commerce and cryptocurrencies in Venezuela with Jose Manuel de Silva from Crypto Lugares. The Latin America team also published an activity report available to see on Reddit of everything they have been up to. Decred Brazil also released a new 30 minute explainer video which has proven to be quite popular and educational. Michael 2 xl of the Brazilian community was on the Bitcoin to You YouTube channel's live stream where he presented Decred for nearly one hour. Official Cryptos has created a set of Decred stickers now available to order. Checkmate published some of his research work to Our Network Issue 34, where his research was first on the list. He details some on-chain metrics like Miner Pulse, Daily Transactions, Treasury Voting Power, among other metrics. Permable Nino released his third mini-publication about the Difficulty Ribbon Price. The Difficulty Ribbon is an on-chain tool created by Willy Woo in order to track distress among miners. From his research, Permable says ASIC introduction has had a massive impact on Decred price action and likely caused it to have a particularly tough bear market recovery, and that mining profit ability will likely never return to early ASIC levels, which likely means that less bleedout will be required to put in Decred's next bear market bottom. Decred Society has a new video about blockchain data health. So this is the blog explorer. And once again, if you want to see how a block is being built and the transactions that are going into it and, and how the actual blockchain is running, this is where you'll find that. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into this area here and Decred gives you lots and lots of information that you can kind of look for yourself and see if you agree. So the information that we're going to look at today is this one here that says charts. 
There is a wealth of information here, so I'm just going to try and go through each of the different topics just so you can see how they all work. So the first one we're looking at is the ticket price. Um, this is the ticket price from the very first block all the way to the current block. Now, unlike Bitcoin, we don't have halvings. So the, the actual circulating supply is just gradually going up. And you'll notice that it will start to curve off. And there will only be 21 million coins, just like Bitcoin, but there will be no halvings. Two new excellent podcasts were published. Amar Nasir was on Decred in Depth to talk hyperinflation, sound money, and DCR's role. A sound money, which also allocates voice, it's quite interesting. And, and obviously, when you first start to talk to people about cryptocurrencies, we got to start with Bitcoin because Bitcoin obviously was the biggest improvement over traditional currencies um, in terms of the digitization of money. Uh, but then naturally, uh, I, I think when you go deep down the rabbit hole of Bitcoin, inevitably, you're also going to uh, see the flaws of, of Bitcoin over the long term. And, and some of those flaws are going to be uh, addressed by, by Decred. So it essentially provides a structure of, of governance without uh, creating an opportunity for you know political influencing in, into the money supply. That's actually a really, really cool innovation that goes beyond Bitcoin. And that's something Bitcoin doesn't really have. Rough Consensus's episode was about the emergence of an early bull market. What I'm kind of seeing with, with Decred is it's building this very interesting foundation, a very sound and robust foundation that a lot of this DeFi stuff, there's going to be a lot of experimentation and there will be hype and there will be wins and there will be losses in Ethereum. The argument for Decred is you can actually absorb the technology that works um, longer term, even though Bitcoin maxis like to say it, it's just not going to happen. Um, uh, Decred actually has that capability. Now, I'm not saying in any way, shape or form that Decred is going to, you know, over DeFi Ethereum. I think, I think I'm, you're kidding yourself if you think that's the case. But I do think it's approaching it from a very different model. And you can see this in the way that the, the deck is genuinely permissionless. Anyone can spin up an implementation and there is no rent seeking, there's no fees. So it's already going to that final product of where I see a lot of these ETH protocols going. People are getting really obsessed with this app layer stuff. And I think there's, uh, people are just completely writing off the, the base layer. And, you know, Decred's already proving, you know, with all the stuff that it's doing at the base layer, that there's still more innovation to be had at the base, at the protocol, at the uh, base protocol level. And then, you know, for me, the ace up the sleeve is, you know, when people realize that you can you can accumulate stake in a hard capped asset. Um, I think that's going to be a big deal in this whole, um, you know, chasing yield trend that's going on in crypto and in, you know, the world, the world financial world at large. Rough Consensus will soon be releasing an episode done with altcoin guru not so fast. So stay tuned for that. Now, let's briefly go over some network stats for the month of July. In July, the Treasury received 13,050 DCR and spent 16,073 DCR. This is 197,000 received and 243,000 spent. As of August 17th, the Treasury balance is 637,423 DCR or 11.3 million US dollars. 30 day average ticket price was 144.3 DCR. This is 4.9 more from the previous month, with the circulating DCR stake still hovering around 50% of the total available supply. Throughout July, there was an average of 134 public listening nodes and 241 total nodes per DCR.farm. If you'd like to spin up your own node on a Raspberry Pi, be sure to check out the guide on this channel. It is geared towards new users. We had several new Politea proposals published for discussion. Soon these proposals will go up for vote, so make sure you have your tickets already purchased so you won't miss out on casting your vote and having a voice in the direction of the project. First up is the marketing decred proposal from FST underscore NML. This proposal requests 10,000 USD payable in DCR to fund a number of marketing strategies to drive traffic to decred and generate new user interest. Strategies include Twitter and social media paid ads, endorsements, and promotional content. The creation of marketing materials like graphics and GIFs, from freelance websites like Upwork. FST says all of the funds requested will go towards marketing expenses and any administrative work will be voluntary. FST makes the argument that every $1 that DCR raises in price would increase the treasury funds by approximately 600,000 US dollars. By dedicating an amount of the treasury towards marketing, we have a great opportunity to increase our treasury value for future projects by investing a small portion into marketing. He plans to move forward with the proposal by creating a Decred marketing work group, shall it pass. Commenters were happy with the direction of the proposal, but would like to see samples and tests of these ideas to see if they would be worth funding. Next is the Decred Poker series from Darth Crypto. This proposal requests $4,500 US per month payable in Decred to fund a poker series with free entry played online. 
Darth Crypto says Decrypt lacks the attention it deserves and says poker tournaments would be a good way to increase chatter about DCR in a fun manner. The tournaments would be held weekly on Saturdays with 10 seats available in a final tournament at the end of the month. He says participants could be selected randomly via hashtags on Twitter. This would create buzz on social media and draw more interest into the Decred ecosystem. Darth Crypto is still looking into potential poker services to utilize as 888 poker does not allow registration from certain US states. Commenters were appreciative of the creativity and uniqueness of the proposal, though they expressed concerns over using third-party sites and questioned if this would bring about enough awareness to justify the budget. And finally is the design domain budgets proposal from Linuti of Eater. This proposal formalizes all expenditures associated with ongoing design work from current Decred contractors working in that domain. The total ask is capped at $65,000 US dollars payable in Decred for work involving user interface and user experience, brand identity, and visual communications. Simply put, this work funds the continued design of all Decred's assets like Decrediton, Politea and its interface, Decred.org, the Decred Dex, the mobile wallet, and much more. Graphical assets are also continually produced, including upcoming motion graphics to help onboard users when staking. The Eater team is the original designers of the entire Decred visual brand, having been with the project for years. If you'd like to get a closer look at their work, I would check out the DCR design repo on GitHub. Commenting has just started, so if you have any questions, you can sign up by visiting proposals.decred.org. This proposal is part of the process to have all contractor building explicitly approved by stakeholders on Politea, so look forward to other proposals to fund work that has been already ongoing. Thank you for tuning into this week's bi-weekly news update. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything published to the channel, and be sure to check out decred.org if you'd like to learn more about the project. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at decred.org.